many nights in my diary I've written, is that a banana in your pocket? Drew Carey's Impravaganza is brought to you by Travelocity. Vacation seems better when you say that Travelocity. It's go time. I'm going to come out into the audience now and collect those sentences, those phrases that you guys uh, wrote earlier. Please hand them up. Pass them up. Okay, guys, here's how this game's going to be played. We are going to have our performers on stage. It's going to be Drew and Kathy. They're going to take these sentences that you wrote, and they're going to use them in a scene. As often as they want to, they breach in their pocket, they grab out a line. That becomes a new line in this scene. That's how we're going to start. We're going to need a suggestion, as always, to get it started. Um, somebody here have an interesting life and thinks they might have a good soap opera title for your own personal life. One you've made up, not as the stomach turns or anything like that. Just a specific soap opera title. Slept with my boss. <laughs> Slept with my boss, she tells America. <laughs> All right, that's the soap opera of her life. Why don't you guys, you're going to take them right off the stand here. There's the entire scene right there. That amazing, long-running soap opera. Slept with my boss. Betty, I love your shower. I don't hope you don't mind. I borrowed some of your shampoo. No. I love to lather myself up when I'm in the shower and say, how do you make a woman happy? Well, Dirk, you really made me happy. Hmm. And I know today when I'm sitting behind my desk, I'm going to be thinking all about what you said to me last night. In fact, I'm never going to forget it when you said, what the hell are you? <laughs> you made me feel so esoteric and alien. I loved it. What the hell am I? I think I'm the best thing that ever happened to you, that's what. I mean, look, we're compatible, we work together. So what if I'm your boss? We don't have to spread around the office, do we? We can keep it quiet. Can't you keep a secret? Somebody might mind if you, like, like, like Cecil down at the reception. If she finds out, she's going to say, if I had more confidence, I don't think I would have gotten this penile implant. That's why she never changed her name. I Nobody tells the boss anything. I'm always the last to know. I've made it a rule all my professional life as an assistant slash secretary slash gal of every means to never sleep with my boss. In fact, many nights in my diary I've written, if, is that a banana in your pocket? <laughs> I've wanted to say that to you so many times, but I have that rule and now I've broken it. It is in fact an apple. <laughs> Oh. Listen, Betty. There's a company retreat coming up. Go to Lake Tahoe for the weekend, do a little uh, bonding. I'd like you to come with me as my special assistant. If anybody asks any questions, I'm just going to say, what the hell is up with these leaves? Uh, but you know, standing here, still in my bathrobe, the mm. thing that I most mm, want to say mm, to you mm. is, I smell cheese. <laughs> After sex, I often smell like cheese. It's natural, it's normal. A man can smell like whatever a man smells like. And if you don't like the way I smell, then the price is wrong. 